Okay, so this is uh, 105. We're, this is the first video of our new situation. It's, uh, it's 1.7 in your book, and it's about inequalities. I'm going to be totally doing relatively short, um, short uh, videos and then, you, and then give you some problems to work with. But uh, what we've got to do now is there's a tablet. I'm using a tablet that'll, that'll be able to do the equations on this screen that is, that's appearing before you. So here we go. We're starting off right away, getting down to business. I'm trying to get used to this software. Bear with me. Here is problem number one with the topic of inequalities. Let's take this, the simplest, the one of extremely simple the one first, 6x plus 4 plus 4 less than 34. And what we want to do is, this is a, the inequalities involves less than, that's what it's all about, less than, that's less than, this one is greater than, then there's less than and equal, or greater than and equal, that's what inequalities is all about. Now there's no, no longer dealing with equations, it's just like equations, almost exactly the same, almost, I gotta tell you the difference, but bear with me, and the, uh, the, the, the thing is like this, is that uh, it's, it, that's why it's called inequalities because we're dealing with less than or greater than. Okay, so what if you have 6s plus 4 le less than 34? Deal with it exactly like an equation. I'll show you when it's different. There's a very small difference between e equations and inequalities, but exactly like an equation. Minus 4 on both sides. No more, nothing more complicated than that. This becomes 6x less than, keep the sign the same, 30. Then take the 6x divided by 6, left side, whatever you do to the left, you do to the right, and you get x is less than 30 divided by 6, which is 5. Problem over. Not such a big deal. Pardon me with this new software. I'm trying to use uh, the space that I can on this tablet because the limited amount of space that I have, it's like one piece of paper. That's how I have to, unfortunately, I'm working with for the moment. Anyway, so here comes problem number two, a little bit uh, non-symmetrical on the, on the right-hand side here. And problem number two is minus 6x plus 4 is less than 34. Almost the same problem, but it's different because it's minus 6x this time. Now, what's going to happen? Treat it like an equation, but bear with me. Minus 4 on both sides, minus 4 on both sides, just like we had before. That's gone. And we have minus 6x is less than 30. Fine. We're okay. Now, to get to x, which is always our goal, right? We're not interested in negative x. We're interested in positive x. That's always what the, the, the situation. At the beginning of the problem, it, which, if it says anything, a lot of times they don't tell you anything. But if it says anything, it's going to say solve. Solve this equation or that equation. Anyway, you, what do we do? Well, we're, our goal is to get x. So we have to divide by minus 6 on the left-hand side and minus 6 on the right-hand side. The, the 2 will be gone. I'll get an x here. I'll get a negative 5 over here, but what did I, what happened? I divided by a negative number, negative 6 on both sides. So this sign right there has to be flipped. And here's the answer to this problem. That brings us that brings us up to that brings us to uh, to the um, that's very, that's that's fine. That brings us to the end of this problem, but let me show you the rule. The rule is that the, the, it works exactly like equations, inequalities. I'm going to try to write this down. Now, one second. Inequalities. Inequalities. Pardon, the, pardon the, the, me, me being inexperienced with this for the moment. Inequalities. Um, hold on. Inequalities. The, what you, the rule you got to remember is if you... Multiply or divide, if you multiply or divide or divide by a negative number, divide by a negative number, and put this in your notes, by a negative number, then by a negative number, there we go, I didn't mean that, uh, by a negative number, so then you... Um, Forget, forget that. There's an eraser up there, but it's not worth it for me to get it. But divide by a negative number, then flip the sign. That's what you got to remember. 
then flip the sign. So pardon the way I'm writing for the moment, then flip the sign. Hopefully I'll get better at this. So here is, that's the whole story. Now, the inequalities work the same way, except that if you multiply or divide by, by a negative number, which is what happened over here, we divided by a negative number, on both, then which we had to do on both sides, of course, then we flip the sign. What used to be less than is greater than. That would apply. Let me show you this. And let's move the, t move the paper up a little bit here. That would be exactly the same thing if this was a less than or equal sign. If it said less than or equal, this would be less than or equal, right? It could be the exact, it could be the exact same problem. But what would you do if you divide by a negative number? You would flip the sign, and instead of less than or equal, it would say greater than or equal. That would be your answer, right? So that is how to take care of a simple inequality problem. So now let me bring this down again. Let me bring this down again. And let me ask you to do, to try this problem, a practice problem. A, here, well, I'll call it problem number three. Hold on. Problem number three. And try, if you had a situation such like negative 5x, plus 5 is less than 70. Try that problem yourselves and then move on to the next video of this series. We're not finished with the inequalities. I'm doing short little videos and then you'd have a, do a problem yourselves and then go on to video number two of, 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 of it's going to be inequalities. It'll be inequalities number two. Okay, we're signing off.